Hello bros, Justin, Salesforce just bought a service that I and many of you brothers are using from home, Slack. So they just dropped 27 billion. So let's get into it from MarketWatch, Salesforce.com Inc. Shares decline in extended session Tuesday after the cloud-based customer relations management company confirmed it would acquire Slack. And... 27.7 billion okay uh, Salesforce CRM uh, they're at 1.81 percent shares that that shares actually sank 1.81 percent more than four percent after hours following a 1.8 decline in the regular session to close at 241 dollars and 35 cents per share the company confirmed it will buy slack work which is at $26.79 per share, you know. So uh, you have a 2.2% uh, rise in regular session to close at $43.84. So Slack stock was up 95% for the year. And that's due to most people actually switching businesses and their integrated services over to Slack and other services. On the Earnings conference call the question arose if Salesforce and Slack already has a close relationship, why buy the company for nearly twenty eight billion rather than partner? That is an interesting question. On the whole, our transactions have been extremely successful, says Mark. I'm not gonna mispronounce the guy's name, so B E N I O F F Salesforce Chairman and Chief Executive. So, prior to Slack announcement, the Tableau software was Salesforce's largest acquisition to date at 15.7 bill, and that was in August 19, 2019, following the 6.5 billion acquisition of MuleSoft back in 2018. Anybody knows what that is? Hit me up. When you look at what we've learned, our ability to integrate companies to make one plus one equal three, we look at this as we say, wow, this is a game changer and we know how to pull it off. Hmm. So Salesforce also reported third quarter net income of 1.8108 billion or a uh, dollar and 15 a share versus a loss of 109 million or 12 cents a share. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Adjusted earnings were about a dollar 74 a share compared to 75 cents a share. Also oh, it's a penny stock. A year ago, revenue rose to 5.4 billion from 4.51 billion in a year ago, a quarter. Analysis surveyed the fact sheet estimated earnings of 75 cents a share or revenue of 5.23 billion based on Salesforce forecasts for 73 cents to 74 cents. Or well, at least they got close to their forecast. Salesforce expects adjusted fourth quarter earnings. 73 cents to 74 cents a share on revenue of 5.67 billion. I think they'll make it. Back in August, Salesforce second quarter earnings and outlook triggered its biggest one day stock gain ever with a 26% rally. Wow. A quarterly revenue hurdled more than 5 billion mark for the first time. Hmm. All right, brothers. So this might be something you may be interested in. It's a little down now, but I think it'll go up due to the market right now that's my little take do it as you wish i'm out bros peace